Great weather. Stephen tracking Milton all morning long and you can see here on the radar behind us it is now I would say the effects of it are now affecting Florida. Yeah right? we're actually seeing some tornado warnings that are popping up across the peninsula as well so it's going to be a very you know long next 12 to 18 hours there in Florida especially you know Tampa points south uh, with this system making its way right towards them. Uh, here is Milton right now the stats showing its uh, winds about 145 miles per hour and uh, you can see it's moving northeast at 17 miles per hour so the storm again making its way northeast right pretty much towards Tampa maybe just south of there and near Sarasota. So here's the track for Milton. We can start off with that category four status right now. It is expected to weaken a little bit, but still we're talking about a significant storm here with a category three status right as it makes a landfall again near Tampa, if not just south of Tampa near Sarasota, Bradenton as well. And even as it tracks over the land, yes, it'll weaken, but it's still going to be a hurricane all the way across the, the peninsula there into the Atlantic side of Florida. So certainly a significant storm across Florida here. The core winds up to about 140 miles per hour right near the center of the track. So again, that track is very important, uh, whether it's more north or more south as to where the uh, strongest winds will be as it approaches landfall later on tonight into early tomorrow morning. So storm surge, one of the biggest uh, impacts here from Milton. 10 to 15 foot wave uh, storm surge here looking at again near the track, if not just south of the track. So that's why it's so important, because if it were to shift a little bit more north, that would include maybe Tampa seeing some more significant storm surge or if it goes further south, seeing it go down to the south as well towards maybe, uh, say, Fort Myers. So hurricane warnings are posted across much of the area from Cedar Key down towards Tampa, Sarasota down towards Fort Myers, even on the eastern side of um, Florida seeing those hurricane warnings as well. Some storm surge there three to six, even seven feet there. Rainfall forecast. Notice the heaviest rainfall on the northwestern side of the track. So here's the track making its way across Florida. Heaviest rainfall north and west could see flash flooding here. 8 to 12 inches, maybe as high as 16 inches in these darker shades of yellow here. And again, that's all across the northern and the western side of the track. Strongest winds will be found on the uh, southeastern and, and the northeastern side of the track later on tonight. So some impacts that we're expecting right now. Category 4 status, winds of 145 miles per hour. Again, thinking landfall near Sarasota late tonight, early tomorrow morning. We mentioned the storm surge threat, the rainfall again, also tracking some of the tornadoes as well. Right now, locally, some tornado warnings across the southern tier of Florida, seeing some warnings near Fort Myers, also inland as well, near Lake ok Okeechobee there. As we go forward uh, into uh, our area here, looking at some quieter weather as well for us locally and looking at dry skies, good weather for us locally here, Blue sky, sunshine, comfy conditions out there for this afternoon. Temperatures in the 60s across the board, 61 in Providence, 64 down in Newport, 65 over in New Bedford. So three key things for us again, nice to get today, mainly dry weekend expected. And as we mentioned, we are tracking Milton, of course, set to make landfall late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Hour by hour forecast looking pretty good for us this afternoon. Blend of sun and clouds, cooler temperatures, though, as we go into tonight, staying dry and quiet right into tomorrow morning. Here's 6 a.m. Notice, though, chilly temperatures in the 40s across the board, especially across western parts of the state. As we go into tomorrow, though, things looking relatively quiet across our area. Seven day forecast. You can take a look here. Things looking pretty good. Chilly starts into the mornings next few days. Sunshine across the area. Warmest day of the seven day looks to be on Saturday. Lower 70s, bright skies. Next chance of any uh, rainfall really doesn't look to be until later Sunday night and into Monday. But for us locally, quiet seven day forecast. Can't see the same for Florida. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Stephen. Stories we're working on new tonight.